Life is funny. It's so funny. When Tad went that back to Dixie, I... I felt so lost, you know? I mean, he never promised me anything. I never promised him anything. But I fell in love with him. And I felt like a jerk at the time. But it turns out that this man that I fell in love with turned out to be the father of my beautiful son. Life is full of surprises. Feeling, not a headache, don't worry. It's more like a warm, tingling sensation. We've done this before. Aside from inhaling our dinner. We've, uh, we've had a lot of fun. Come on, you choose. I want to pick the Which best. Which one do you want? Uh, don't pick the I'll best, pick. just pick one. What does it say? You open yours. No, you Come on, open it. Come on, open it. Open it. Open it. I won the lottery. <laughs> no. It says, it's, no, listen to this. This is very important. It says, uh, my boss will make me very happy. That does not say that. Yes, it does. Let me see. Let no. Me, let me see. I told you it didn't say that. It says, a beautiful woman will make me happy. Same thing. Well, not quite. Anyway, I'm your ex-boss. You interpret your fortune cooking, let me interpret mine. What's it say? <laughs> Huh? It says, your dearest wish will come true. You have a wish. What is it? I can't tell you. If you don't tell me, how can I make it come true? <laughs> well, how do you know it hasn't already? Has it? Maybe. <laughs> yeah, we have had fun like this. A lot of times like this. Finish. <laughs> you. Here, 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 here. Let me propose a toast. To Brook English. Then and now. Both of them worth knowing. Same to you. Charmed isn't good enough. And fond and pleased. That doesn't work either, don't you get it? Edmund, Jamie is the miracle of my life. I know that. It was a dream that couldn't come true, but it did come true. It was Jamie. All right, so what does this have to do with Ted? Nothing. That's what I'm saying. He didn't love a little girl and lose her. He didn't desperately try to conceive a child and was finally told that just to give up. All right, so Jamie isn't a miracle for Ted. Do you know what I tell Jamie about where his father is? I tell him that he's in heaven, that he's with the angels and the stars, and that he sends him beautiful dreams, and that he loves him more than the sun and the moon, more than his mom he does. Jamie's easy to love. It's not a matter of easy. It's either you do or you don't. I mean, he, Dad, he, he's a good man. He's a decent man, but he's, he can be glib. He can put on an act for my benefit for Jamie's and mine. I don't want an act for my son. I want the real thing or nothing at all. What makes you think that Tad won't feel the real thing? He didn't with me. I mean, I was a grown-up. That was fine. But it's not fine for my son. The only real thing for Tad is Dixie. He wanted a baby with her. Nobody else. Actually, Brooke, I thought it might be a perfect opportunity for you to forgive Edmund. Let him know that you still want him back in your life. You know, it's one thing to hand me a pack of self Oh, You know me better than that. Well, and you know what he did to me. I can't believe that you're taking his side. Honey, I'm on the same side I've always been on, yours. So how can you ask me to forget what he did? I didn't say forget. I said forgive. 
Brooke, you got the biggest heart of anyone I've ever known, and you've made room for everyone, but there's still that vacancy sign flashing where Edmund used to be. Why not ask him to come in? Because I don't know if I want to. I don't even know if I know how. I think you know how. You just let go of yesterday and start walking. But greeting each new day with the man you happen to be in love with, it seems to me that's a pretty good reason for getting out of bed in the morning. Or getting back into it. Oh, you're terrible. <laughs> you were never like that before. What has Olivia been doing to you? Nothing but good things. And that's all I want for you. I'll take it under advisement. All right.